at this point, you better be doing C. You want to do A again, that's a different problem. All right, now we set it up. We haven't answered it yet. But again, the sum is from where we began to where we ended. So just in what general direction is my answer going to be? From where we began to where we ended. And that's my result. Now the order in which I add them should not matter. So this is another one of those cases. We'll see how close we get doing it differently. Rihanna wanted to go in alphabetical order. Let's go in reverse alphabetical order. We'll start with C. So I'm going to take my point right here. And then B. Again, every time I stop and wherever I, my last one stopped, that's my new starting point. And then A. And my result is oh, better than last time. It's from where I began to where I ended. Not too far off. If I had a protractor and pencil and paper, I, I should get much closer. And if one of the forces of A, B, and C had such a smooth um, Oh, had a value? Yeah. Okay, I had a magnitude using some of that language. So if we made this a, a three newton length, Three newton force, then my resultant, we'll just use this one. I want to see how long that is compared to my the one I do know. So it's, that's the length of R, so it's a little bit less than three newtons. And I'm, I'm eyeballing this, that looks like about three quarters the length. So it's three quarters of three. So my magnitude of my resultant is three quarters. Again, just eyeballing of three newtons, which is 2.25 newtons. I guess for a little CYA, we'll put some approximately there. And I'd look at that and go, well, you know, it's close to what I got. But <coughs> Is that, was that what you were looking for? Yeah, that was super helpful, thank you. Okay. Other questions right now? I don't have one about that, but are you on Discord today if I go now? Because I didn't bring my headphones and I don't want to have it playing oh. in the room for you. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I'm aware if you just get up and walk out, uh, okay, well, I will I understand that you're snubbing all of us. I didn't want to be rude. No, I, I understand what you're doing. But if you wait till I say something controversial, then you can do it in protest. Then. There's going to be a lot of controversy in physics 110. The world is round.
it is now time for F down. So we've talked about vectors and sort of how you manipulate them, some of the vector math. And we've also talked about forces. We'll sort of combine some of those. We're going to be doing a lot of force, what are called force diagrams in here. This is very similar to free body diagrams in one of the videos. I talk about the difference between the two. But this is basically a checklist of forces that we will be dealing with at this point in the course. It is not until we get to, in chapter 9, I think it is, we will have a small variation of this. We'll add a slight twist to what is meant by the W. And in chapter, I think it's 13, we'll add an additional course. But until then, for most of the course, F count is the checklist. And the forces that we're going to be dealing with so far, F is for friction. T is for tension. O is for other, and I'll explain what that is in a moment. W is for weight. And N is for normal. The symbol I use for friction is what I call the Baroque F. It's just an F with a little bit of extra curl in there. That's the symbol I use for friction. It's the same one I'll use later for frequency. The symbol I use for tension, I did use a capital T, and some students will do that. The trouble is capital T is also used for something known as period. And later on, we will deal with a formula which has period and tension in it, and at that point, instead of going, oh, you know, we've been using capital T all along, but now we're gonna change it. Uh, for tension, I do a capital F with a subscript T. You know, for test one, if you're using a capital T, I know what you're doing, so not a big deal. The symbol I use for weight is a lowercase w, I'll put a little flange there on the right side. Uh, because later on we will use capital W for work and capital W for watts. So using a lowercase w for weight. And normal force is the one that probably you look at and go, where did you come up with that? I'll explain. I use the capital Y for normal force. Not everyone does. I use a capital Y because we don't use capital Y for anything else. The trouble is some People will use capital N for normal force, and they really don't like that because it is a force. If you're using capital N for normal force, and the normal force is three newtons, you would write the equation, normal force is equal to three newtons. And now you have an equation where capital N means two different things in the same equation. So please do not use capital N. Some textbooks will use a lowercase n. Some actually use a capital N. Uh, some will use a capital F for the subscript N. Yes? My question is going to be, can you use a lowercase N? Or for tension, can you use a lowercase T? I would not recommend the lowercase T, because lowercase T traditionally means time, and that will really become a mess later on. Now, on the, what I'm going to call the complex force diagram problem that will be on the test, it will be the next to the last problem on the first test, probably. Um, it generally from context, I go, all right, they must, they're using this for tension, okay, and, I, and I'll buy it for that, but I really do not recommend lowercase t for tension. Doesn't anybody put anything after other? That's because it, it's problem specific. Other is when you really don't know or don't care what the force, what kind of force it is. And not caring from an academic point of view, not your own personal feelings about it. A three Newton force is pushing on the box. What kind of force is that? I didn't say. It doesn't matter. That's, a, that's an example of other. The other generally comes in, it's a 
force that's thrown into a problem, and you're not, and there's no explanation about what's causing it. Now, each of these forces acts in a particular direction. So, uh, direction with respect to objects. Friction is always parallel to the surfaces of contact. Parallel to surfaces of contact. So if I take this book and I slide it on the table, friction is, was acting on it. The friction acting on the book and the friction acting on the table are both parallel to the surfaces. They would be horizontal. I'm going to come back to tension. Other is problem specific. I also needed a valve. <laughs> um, weight is always toward center of mass of other object. Forces require two objects. So, for instance, the weight acting on me is down towards the center of the Earth, because the Earth exerted, is exerting a gravitational pull on me, and so that force is down towards the center of the Earth, the center of mass of the Earth. Likewise, I'm pulling up on the Earth with all 220 pounds. You can feel it when I jump up, you know, so I push the Earth away and then the Earth came slamming back towards me. The gravitational force acting on the Earth is towards my center of mass, somewhere around here. Normal force. Anyone happen to know what, it, it's a math term. Anyone know what normal means? Is that equal? Uh, no, actually not. For, I don't know why they used the term normal, but they did. It actually means perpendicular. They're perpendicular to surfaces of contact. So there's a normal force acting on the book that is acting up. There's a normal force acting on the table that is acting down. There's a normal force acting on my hand that is towards the middle of the room, or towards, towards the room. But I'm exerting normal force on the board going that way, the opposite direction. Tension along the line of the tight rope. I guess tight rope makes it sound like it, I'm doing the gymnastics there, taut rope. Tension is I got a rope pulling on something, and it's along the line of whatever the rope is. And on that note, we'll leave it as a cliffhanger. What, what's going to happen next? Because we also have requirements for the force to exist and the direction of the forces with respect to the other force. We'll leave it as a mystery right now for what I mean by other force. Be safe.